Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells for today. And we're back. And this time I intend to stay back. It's time that I sorted out the issues facing me right here. Well, specifically one issue, and that issue, of course, is Mr. House. Now, for those of you with short memories, well, actually, it wouldn't really be that short a memory. It was quite some time ago. Mr. House is a little upset with me. You see... I destroyed his robot army of doom. Well, first of all, I upgraded it and expanded it, which was the job I'd agreed to do, and then I destroyed it. He was understandably a little peeved at me, and I have a feeling he probably wants me dead. I've been avoiding the strip ever since, but honestly, I think I'm going to have to deal with this. Now, it is possible he's calmed down and seen the error of his ways. There is also another possibility, slightly more realistic, that he still wants me very dead. I need to get that sorted, and I do have two options, I think. I have a quest, an, uh, a thing to do for Yes Man, and that is, where is it? There it is. Kill or disable Mr. House. This would obviously end that particular problem. It would, however, tend to put Yes Man en route to take over. Now, apparently he's taking over for me, but I have two problems with that. One, I don't really trust him. No, I don't. And two, I'm not totally sure I want to be the king. I mean, it's one thing to be the richest man alive and have lots of people who want to kill you because you're rich, and another thing to be the king and absolutely ensure everybody wants to kill you because you're the king. It's just, it's one of those things, isn't it? I never really saw myself as the boss. Well, not of everywhere. You know, my own casino. I mean, I suppose you could argue it, argue that it's the same thing, really. Just, I'm the CEO of Vegas. Yeah, but it's not, is it? You know, when you've got a robot army of doom, you're a king. You know what I'm saying? When you've got a gun, a van, and a bunch of friends, you're a businessman. When you've got a gun, a van, a bunch of friends, and a robot army of doom, you're the king, right? Not totally sure I like that idea. My other option is to help replace House with another group, for example. Now, there's the Legion, but they don't like me because I generally kill them all the time, including their leader, and I don't like them because well, they're just very easy to not like. There's something about them that makes me want to shoot them. It's possibly the outfits, it could be the way they talk, and it could be the fact that they're slavers and need killing. That, of course, leaves the NCR. Now, I'm not in love with the idea of the NCR being in charge. I'm not. But it's something I could entertain. You know, I mean, they kind of get in the way a little but I'm pretty good at working around that sort of bureaucracy that gets in the way. So that's a possibility. I have not decided yet. I'm going to go back to the, the strip and scope out the place. Check the situation out. However, on the way, I, I've been checking my list of things. I have a task. This task is to tell Captain Parker what happened to the missing refugees. Now, this was something that happened ages ago, too. It was a task I had to find a bunch of missing refugees. It turned out it was a couple of guys in... Was it Freeside? West Freeside? I think it was West Freeside. I may be wrong on that. Uh, a guy called St. James and Dermot. And they were selling people, including children, into slavery to the Legion. So I kind of killed them and then never got round to telling Captain Parker what had happened. And it's been rather a long time. And so I actually think I should just wander down there and give him the terrible news. I mean, it's, it's kind of on the way. We will, we're not driving through Deathclaw territory. It's not that I'm afraid the Deathclaws can catch us in this... Well, they might actually because the road is extremely... Extremely potholy. Is that a word? Potholy. 
It feels like ages since I came down here. Actually, when I came down here, I came down here with Eddie. Wasn't it Eddie and Veronica? And we ended up discovering a vault over in that direction that was full of radiation. Oh, those were the days when Radaway was more valuable than gold. Fond memories, if by fond you mean nightmarishly horrible. Isn't that weird? They are fond memories, though. They were nightmarishly horrible, and yet I, I remember them fondly. I wonder if that reflects badly on me or the human race in general. I'm going to blame the human race. Yes, I am. That's a little easier, isn't it? And I need to be turning left. So I decided to bring Arcade, continue on with him, get to know him. I'm leaving Raul uh, to, to take a bit of a rest. He was part of a very big, intense and unpleasant battle. And I just kind of missed Eddie. Yes, I did. I don't know why. I also missed Cass. This was... Oh, God. This was the place where I was getting bounties... Isn't this the place where I was getting bounties? Wasn't that a... Hello? Huh? Huh? I, I like to see your wares. I don't... Okay, what, what are yeah, you... Yeah, yeah. What are you selling? What are you... Do you have anything remotely useful? Probably not. No. Time for me to go. Definitely time Later. for me to... Oh, whoa! Voice change. Oh, there it is. That drainage grate to book and odds and ends and Nelson's back in our hands. NCR Hope agent. Uh what? This was it, this Wickham! I'm still upset with you. Yes I am, I'm still extremely upset with you. It does occur to me that means I did come down here quite a lot. And I totally forgot about it. Hmm. Memory's going. Memory's been going for ages. It's age, I tell you. And he was... Is that him? God. This, this really does feel like old times, doesn't it? Running around doing... Small little tasks for the local population, Hello. trying to earn a little money. Captain have you found out what happened to those missing refugees? I have. You're not going to like it. St. James and Dermot were behind it, and they're very, very dead. And they've been dead for rather a long time. How do you know? Did you find proof? What, that they're dead? Well, I shot them. A lot. I mean, it usually works that way. Oh, oh right, you mean... Okay, yeah, no, I found this evidence in their rooms. They attacked when I confronted them. That's right, they attacked me, probably. It's a bit of a blur. Oh, sick bastards. Can't say I'll shed any tears for them. Here, you've earned this. Okay! Complete quest. Teddy bear removed. I've been carrying around a teddy bear all this time. You guys have probably thought that was weird. Didn't you? Out of curiosity, you... Hello? Good to see you. Something else I can do for you? I was just... Who are, have I never asked you who you are? Captain Parker. I'm in charge of this camp. It's a very nice camp. See you. Okay, so that's... That's that one out of the way. Right. Now, we need to go... Well, we need to talk to... Yes Man, maybe. But actually, what I want to do is check the strip. There's NCR building there. I think we should go and chat with them and hopefully not get shot on the way. I've been back to the Strip since, you know, upsetting house, haven't I? Haven't I? Pretty sure I have, and I didn't get shot at. Well, not by the Securitrons. No, they're not called Securitrons. Are they called? Have you even forgotten what the bloody robots are called? Ready, steady, fighty. God, those things look weird. Bad guys dealt with. Very weird. 
It seems like the Crimson Caravan is the closest I can park to the New Vegas Strip. That's Bessie, isn't it? That is my Brahmin. Sink their claws deeper. The town of Prim signs up to join the. Oh no, that was that was the cow making. But how do I get in there? For a second, I thought I would like some giant super mutant nearby. Yes, that's Betsy. Where is those tough guys? Rangers are here. I ain't seen them myself. I, I could send Eddie back be? and start having Betsy trailing behind. Although I think she might stand out even more than Eddie does inside there. Yeah, I can park at West Freeside, but I think that's a lot further away from the strip. Okay. Good grief. This does feel like a trip down memory lane. Oh my god, that kid's still chasing that bloody rat. This guy's going to come up to me and give me something, isn't he? He's going to be like, it's been ages since we've seen you. Here's a bottle of Coke. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Well, not for the a while, no. The king says to keep up the good work instead to give you this. The king. I should... 35 bottle caps. You know what, though? Thank you. I sh... Should I shoot the rat for him? I, I always feel like that would be wrong. Also, the rat doesn't seem to care about me. And I'd be half expecting to shoot the rat and then have everyone else kill me. Because it, it's not actually food. It's just a game he's playing. There's the followers. Well, you knew that anyway, didn't you, Arcade? Yes, you did. We've got a gun shop down there. I really should take some stuff. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Mick and Ralph's, that's it. I should probably take some stuff to sell at Mick and Ralph's. And it can be the bought, followers, it can they be have Radaway. I just, Ralph's. I don't actually have a Radaway problem anymore. That sounds kind of like I'm in denial, doesn't it? I can't help but feel I should be coming back here at night. The place looks so much better when... Sneaking done. Fighting now. Had enough? Yes, thank you, I have. Was that nice all? of you to ask. Was... Okay, I forgot how unpleasant this place was and how stupid the local population could be. Lead pipe. Although, you could argue he did get the drop on me. Why didn't you guys actually shoot him? Hmm? Okay, let's go and find out if these guys... I'm pretty sure they're not hostile. I'm sure I've been back here several times. Let's go and find out what the hell they're called. Time to fight. It's not... It isn't them. No, it's it's them. So, wait a minute. These guys are attacking me. Nobody wants to... Oh, it's because I've put you guys into... Passive mode, isn't it? I'm put I would you can attack if you're being attacked. Was that all? <laughs> oh, I missed you. Oh, I've missed you. Oh yeah. I know I will get bored of that relatively quickly, but for now, I'm not. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, then. Hello? Securitron! I was right! Securitron! Yes! I tell you, mind like a steel trap, me. Not a rusty one, either, before anyone comments. Forget nothing. Sort of. Room telephones. Okay. Let's just keep going. Act nonchalant. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? Okay. Uh, right. So. LVB station? I don't think we've been in there. Ultralux. We've been in there. That is where we had a chat with Benny. Yeah, this, this place should be visited at night. Michael Angelo's and Vault 21 Hotel. We've definitely been in here. I remember this, unless I'm remembering it from a different life. 
That does occasionally happen. Hello, Sarah. Good to see you again. See, I knew I'd been it. But thank you. That's. I was just double checking that I wasn't completely nuts. Oh, the music. The music. Oh, I'm getting nostalgia for a different place and a different life. Oh, I am. Oh, that is a... Oh, I'm getting all misty here. That was strangely overwhelming. Do you ever get that, guys? This just sudden pang of nostalgia. That just It just makes you want to sit down and think about nothing else for a while. You know what? If I was the king and had a robot army of doom, I think I'd put that army to the task of fixing stuff. I mean, this guy's had 200 years or so to fix this place up. He's got resources. He's got a robot army of doom. He can't fix a bloody road. You know, maybe I should become the king. I'd do a damned good job of it. You know that. I just don't want the pressure. No, I don't. Hello? Without leadership, the things are as good. Eddie? What just happened? Something blew up. Military police. Well, it wasn't me. You saw me. I was in there. Was it him that blew up or was it? Search the courier. Expressed to... Okay. Uh, there's a courier. He's an NCR courier. What the actual... Okay. Um, thank you. This is... Uh, on behalf of the Republic, thank you for a job well done. The defense at FOB Omega is going to be immortalized as one of the finest moments in the history of our military, and you made it possible. Blah, blah, blah. That's the big fight. Express delivery. Some guy up north paid double to get that package to the bigwigs down in Vegas. So don't stop unless absolutely necessary. Go straight to the delivery point. Billy. Who the hell is Billy? And why is he sent a courier with an, a, a note? And why did it blow up? Okay. Well, I hope that package wasn't for me and was for you guys. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. You guys are awfully nonchalant, considering an explosion just went off. Door to NCR Military Police HQ. And door to NCR Embassy. Let's try here first. I, I don't think I've ever been in here. Oh, yes, I have. Well, maybe not. Hello? Be sure it's true. Help you? When you say cool music. I Never mind. No, I'm, it's the embassy I probably want. I need to talk to someone and see if there's any chance that, you know. Lisa O'Malley. Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, thing is, I actually think I've got an appointment. I do remember getting some sort of message saying that I could come here and talk to some... I'm looking for the ambassador, I think. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Okay, and what can you tell me about the embassy? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. I, I wasn't looking for history. I was just making small talk. Tell me about yourself. Are you going to want to tell me about my, yourself? About myself. You can tell me about me. No, tell me about yourself. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? Fine, tell me about me then. Never mind. Sir? She's a little curt, isn't she? 
Okay. Um, it's this way. Okay. I'm glad it you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a okay. very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. All right, I'm listening, I guess. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. No, totally. You definitely have my attention. Sounds like we're kind of on the same wavelength, actually. We got a bit of a standoff situation here with Legion, House, and NCR. And um, we don't like the Legion, and uh, I personally am not too keen on House, so fine. You've got my attention. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them Boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. No, they love me! Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as what well crimes? as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? I don't mind... I... I... Don't mind the whole perks and things. What do you mean, crimes? I've actually been really careful not to break any of your rules or upset you guys. And I've saved so many of you, it's, it's ridiculous. Actually, I already know them. We're good friends. That's excellent news. So they'll help us, right? Well, they'll, they'll help me. Uh, <laughs> yes, they will help us. The boomers have agreed to help me. That's, that's, yes, me. Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Okay. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Well, the, that that was such a difficult task, I know. But uh, I'm, I'm raring to go for another one. It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? Well, you could tell me to do something more complicated than stand at the end of your desk and nod at you. Earlier, you mentioned another assignment. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, let's find out about who I am working for. Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it, even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago, back in the NCR as the local mayor, and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. Okay. Uh, interesting. Go on. Y no, please don't. Uh. Oh, yes. Uh, sure, sure. Ask away. Okay. I'd like to know more about the NCR. I can provide a quick history oh, lesson God, no, if no, that's what no. you're looking for. Just... In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojave this was the force wrong with the objective guy. of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival, and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the Dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. 
I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Okay, you know what? I've changed my mind. That was a useful recap of the entire situation here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So, go on. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble. But that's Captain Papa's job. Captain Papa. I keep Papa. myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. Oh, I gotta meet him. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. Okay, um... And what do you want to play caravan? No thanks, what is happening around the Strip? It's the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. All right, okay. This whole, you get 95% of the power? That sounds like the people of this neighborhood are getting a bum deal. I mean, I guess if you're, I mean, I suppose 5% of the power from that dam is probably enough to keep Vegas. Mind you, I ended up sending quite a lot of power to Vegas from Helios 1. So obviously they needed more for the surrounding areas. Probably the dam power goes just to Vegas, doesn't it? So free side, west side, all those areas, they just don't get a look-see. Okay, you know what? You mentioned another assignment. So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Uh, I have. It's a slum. Yes, what of it? Maybe I go lots of places, can't remember them all. No, I've been there. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look okay. into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Well, actually, I keep meaning to call in and talk to this king character. Sure, I'll look into it. Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Okay, if I can't just kill him, what do you want me to do? I'm not actually an assassin either. I, I, what is my other choice? Because I am not an... I, I'm a bounty hunter, and if he's, if he's a criminal, I, I, I do that. But I'm not just going off and killing people for you, okay? I'm not a violent man myself, so I had our guys come up with an alternate solution on the off chance that our agent-to-be shared my sentiments. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after oh. the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the King. Okay, now this sounds better. I'm not exactly a diplomat, but apparently the King likes me. I've been doing good work around Freesight. I can't for the life of me remember what that was. Actually, I suspect it was paying a man in a bar a lot of money to tell everyone how cool I was. Yeah, I think that was it, actually. Okay, tell me more about the king. He's Caucasian, in his mid-30s, and extremely charismatic. It's that last part we're counting on. The kings are a bunch of young hoodlums who aren't inclined to listen to anyone except him. Get him on your side, and the rest will fall in line. Okay, what would I need? Right, I think I'd rather go with the assassination plan. No, no, no. I'm dead charming. I'm not diplomatic, but I'll get him on my side. What do I need to do? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. 
Do whatever it takes. Yeah, when I know done, how that works. One way or the other, report back here and we'll take it from there. Guess I'll have a talk with the king then. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Okay. We're off to see the king. This is going a little better than I had hoped, actually. I kind of wanted to see the king anyway, so going to see him to see if I can get a bit of peace between the kings and the NCR and maybe get some help from both of those groups in dealing with house. And then we can, you know, get back to the important things in life, making huge amounts of money. School of impersonation. I wonder who they're impersonating. That's a joke. OPN enrollment. Overpowered an enrollment. Yes, I know it's open. There was some kind of explosion to the east a little while ago. Has the fighting started? Explosion to the east. To the east. Let's have a look. My truck. God, I hope it wasn't my truck. I I I'm guessing you meant a little longer... Oh, this is towards where, um... Bitter Spring Springs... Isn't this towards where the Legion is? Is it? Did I make an exp... Oh, of course I did. I blew up the Robot Army of Doom. No, believe it or not, the fighting is probably been postponed a little bit. Oh. Well, depends on how you look at it, really. You see, I did destroy a Robot Army of Doom, but I also kind of pretty much half destroyed the Legion. Hello? Hello. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. You are the... I... Everyone knows Mr. House Hi. doesn't... What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Uh, who's the king? That sounds a teeny bit rude. He's the guy that runs the kings. Yes, I'd like to see... I just... Yes, I'd like to see the king. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Uh... Trust me, the king will want to see me. He... I'm the dude everyone's talking about. You guys keep running up to me and giving me money and stuff. King wants to see me. No, trust me. The king will want to see you if I want you to see him. Come back when you figure out how the world works. I know... Anyway. Plan B is really beginning to look... A lot more pleasant. Look who's back. If you want to see the king, you better pay up. <sighs> here's five caps. Here's 50 caps. I don't have much. Um, I don't. I'm poor. I am so poor. You have no idea. Then the king has no interest in seeing you. Yes, he does. He keeps sending. Look who's back. If you want to see the king. Here's five caps. What, do I look like a beggar to you? Yes. Take a hike, cheapskate. Haven't we met? When I was acting as guard duty, when I was acting as guard duty at the, what was it called? The the, the weapon shop with all the elect, um, all the energy weapons that that blew up. Oh, maybe that's the explosion he was talking about. That place blew up, didn't it? Yeah, let's not bring attention to that because that was while I was a guard. <sighs> Look who's back. If you want to see the king, you better pay up. Here's 50 caps. You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. I suppose I got 35 caps from the these guys. The looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. You know, I never did think to try just opening the door. Maybe that would have worked. Oh. Okay. Rat. Okay. That may be the coolest dog I've ever seen. Bark, bark. Okay. Um. The king. Hello. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. 
He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Your dog hasn't been feeling well. Um, I was hoping you might have some work for me. Do you always charge people to come and talk to you? I need to stop the violence against the NCR citizens in free. Yeah, can we talk about that? Do you really always charge money just to come and speak to you? And if so, is that something I can start doing? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? 50. It's not, it's 50. That's Pace for you. He means well, but he doesn't like strangers. Here, to make amends. Now, awesome. what can I do for you? <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy. I've been sent by the NCR to end the violence against their citizens. That, that's it's true. So, I'm supposed to just start giving in to the demands of random strangers that come in here, huh? No. I don't think so. No, no, no. I'm not. You want something from me? You're going to have to earn it. And it just so happens that I got a few things I need taken care of. So, what do you say? Then I figured that's... I better think so. No, I figured that was exactly... Return to Ambassador Crocker with the news that the king will not curb the violence. He will. He just needs me to do some stuff for him. This is how it works. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Uh, actually, I think so. Opposite the guy selling food, right? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well-earned. Usually well-earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure, why can't your men look into this? Why are you so interested? Why are you so interested in this? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Now that seems fair enough. I like this guy. No, no, yeah, I'll do it. Okay then, once you part ways, return here. I look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. He's even giving me money to... I heard that some of the bosses of the fiends were GI Blues. This guy isn't just cool. He's generous. Generous. Talk of someone cool. Going into the Lucky 38 likeable. To talk to Mr. House. We are That's going to be bullshit. friends. Yes, Everyone we are. Mr. House doesn't the only thing anyone. is, I'm a little unsure about this, this plan. I'm supposed to act like a tourist who doesn't know what's going on, right? Thing is, doesn't everybody know me by now? I mean, the king's come running out of nowhere to throw stuff at me, and I'm the guy that walked into the lucky casino, and yeah, I'd say I was a fairly distinctive looking figure. Maybe they just think I'm an off-duty NCR ranger or something. I don't know. I... Is it okay if I'm slightly offended at the idea that I may not be well known? It was somebody right over there, right? There were three gentlemen stood by the gate when we walked in. We had... Tom Dooley. Hello, Tom. You're looking for top quality pre-owned adventure gear. You've come to the right place. If not, get lost. Uh, okay. I'm going to leave now because you're talking very, very quietly and yet for some reason I can hear you. King's gang member and hello, Oris. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Oh yes, I am a poor tourist who has never been here before and I'm scared to go all the way to the other side of Freeside. It's such a long time, a uh, long way. How much do I have to pay you? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Yeah, that's what I actually... Get. Why do I need a... Why do I need a bodyguard crossing Freeside? Just look around. People here are as like to stab you as say hello. That is, if I weren't at your side. 
I mean, true. Grand. I mean, usually it's a crowbar, though. They can't afford knives. Uh, how much for your... I don't think I need your services. No, I don't. How much again? 200 caps. 200 caps. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what if I'm not... What if I'm not going to the south gate? Sorry, but all the people with real money are heading for the strip, so that's the way I go. You want to go somewhere else? Hire one of these losers. Okay, so you're only... You're only going to the south, okay? Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. A brisk pace! All the way down this road. Okay, follow Oris to the south gate and watch for any suspicious behavior. Suspicious from him or other people? To your left here is the old Mormon fort. If you get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Right, okay, follow us. on the next block is where the king's hang out. Don't let them scare you. Come to Nick and Ralph's for to all your shopping needs. Fun. Okay. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Oh, you yeah, know, I've, I've actually uh, been there. I've done some work. No, I haven't never been here before. I'm thinking of somewhere completely different, obviously. Yes, indeed. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Oh. Okay. Word those is, those men? tough guy rangers are here. They I ain't seen them myself. Don't look that but tough, mate. How scary can they be? I mean, you're supposed to be... That really is a big revolver, isn't it? I mean, not that I'm... You know, intimidated by the size and everything, but... Oh. Okay. What exactly... Okay, gotta keep up with him. Uh, gotcha. Thought you could ambush us, huh? Okay. Uh, Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Okay. In Intelligence six. Hey, you only fired three shots and the four guys hit. Why did you run around? You wouldn't. It? That is true. Actually, you fired three shots and there are four guys here and. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. What? Oh, you just faked this whole thing to drum up repeat business. Why did you run up ahead like that? Yeah, no, just... That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. But I want all the money you have on you. I could make it to the king. I could make it to the king. I want all the money you have on you. I could make it to the kings from here. What? Okay. I don't understand that one. I want all the money you have on you. So I want to rob him. And then I could make it to the kings from here. What? Okay. Can I rob him and then tell the king? I ought to take my chances and kill you right here. But you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back out of your hide if I have to. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Free side. Okay, guys, you can get up now. Show's over. Med examine the body. Cl the thug appears dead, a victim of your recent fight. I didn't have a recent fight. Medicine 30 or higher required. Examine the body closely. A quick study of the body reveals that the thug is still alive and merely pretending to be dead. We knew this. Can I, uh... Yeah, 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 right, fight. I can't believe I need medical skill of 30 and above to spot people who are pretending to be... dead. Do I need to keep following him? Okay, so it's a scam. It is a scam. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll know exactly who to, to, to fire. Uh, hire. I am 
just heading back down here now that you've shown me the... Oh, I don't need to pretend anymore. We both know you're a lying sack of manure. Okay. So what? Tell the king? King probably wants me to go back and shoot him or something. Or will he send one of his own guys to rough him up? He's obviously not that damn tough if he has to stage this sort of a thing. Okay. What do you hear for me? Oris is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and then plays hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. I'll look into it when I can. I have a thing. No, no, I'll do it. I can do that. I can do that. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okay. I... What is that man doing? He's supposed to be impersonating somebody. Because if it's who I think it's supposed to be, he kind of sucks. Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells for today. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle, as I go riding merrily.